In today's video, every Star Wars army is currently holding this small cemetery hill. We have ourselves Death Watch Mandalorians. We've got clone ATTE tanks. We've got rebel fleet troopers. We've got clone shock troopers. Over this way, we have 10,000 Jedi who are going to be counter attacking. Then we have stormtroopers, BX commando droids, B1 battle droids, and then all the way into this valley over here, we have 1,000 Death Troopers who are coming in to try and save the Star Wars armies because we have a little under 7 million zombies and other evildoers that are sieging them inside of this graveyard. And the Star Wars Army's mission is to protect their four hero units at the very top. We've got Emperor Palpatine, We've got Grandmaster Yoda, we've got General Grievous, and we've got ourselves the one, the only, Mandalorian. So guys, if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications turned on, and let's see if these Star Wars units can hold out against 7 million zombies. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Rightio gamers pressing start right now and the zombies should begin marching on forward and that they are there's a total of 11,000 Star Wars units defending. It is not a lot, but as we know, Star Wars ranged units are incredibly powerful. And coupling that with their Jedi, they could easily sweep the zombies with little to no effort. The trolls are launching the Jedi into the air over here. Yikes. Uh, but probably not doing too much damage to them, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. ATTEs over here should be firing away and doing some cover fire, although I'm not really seeing much fire from these, so ho hopefully they are? I'm not entirely sure. Over this way, we've got our Rebel Fleet Troopers firing away as well. And as you can see, I mean, it's not just the immediate zombies that are coming up over the graveyard that are dying. Oh, these are orcs, by the way. Um, you, you also get a lot of deaths over this way. You know, just sort of out and into the great beyond, zombies are dying left and right uh, because of all of that fire going out. Over this way, we've got the B-1 battle droids, probably one of the weakest units on the battlefield for the Star Wars. So, uh, you know, this could be an area of interest for the Star Wars units to cover fire. And it looks like some Mandalorians are already supporting over this way and firing away to try and make sure that these guys are nice and safe. Um, how are these guys doing? Okay. The hero units up here are getting attacked a smidge. What is Emperor Palpatine doing? He's like a little goblin. He's like a little goblin, but he's getting kills. Uh, yeah, so up here there's a small, tiny little path where a few enemies can come up at a time. And so they are attacking General Grievous, uh, the Mandalorian, Yoda, and Emperor Palpatine up here. But for the most part, these are hero units. They've each got like 25,000 health or something crazy like that. Maybe even more. We can double check, actually. Uh, Palpatine has... Wait, was that 500,000? Holy cow. He has 500,000 health. Uh, General Grievous has 250,000 health. Wow. Yoda has only 30,000. And then the Mandalorian has 8,000. Okay. So it's a good thing Mandalorian is in the back and not taking the brunt of this. Um, and Emperor Palpatine and Grievous are taking the brunt of it, which is good because they are the ones with the most health. Uh, but these hero units are very skilled and should be able to handle any of these zombies that are trying to flank around the very, very back over there. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal for them. All right. Uh, so the clones, the stormtroopers, the rebel fleet troopers, all of those guys are essentially protecting those hero units, but I don't want it to make it seem like the hero units aren't capable of protecting themselves as well, because they very much so are. Got some stormtroopers up here firing away very nicely, we love to see. And then of course we have the death troopers way back here that are coming forward. There's only 1,000 of these guys on the battlefield, 
and they are spawning extremely far away, but they are a high tier commando style unit. Uh, so they should be able to get quite a few kills for the Star Wars armies here, and hopefully, you know, weave a path towards the Star Wars units to help out. They've already spread out considerably. I mean, they spawned like right here in the canyon, and we've already got them over here, over here, and then all the way over here too. They're pretty split up, uh, which isn't the greatest strategy, I will say, but I mean, hey, they probably have at least 100,000 kills already just to themselves because, again, they're a very, very high tier commando unit that can easily, easily clear out multiple, multiple zombies at once. So, you know, we're just hoping that they do some killing and maybe make their way over to the rest of the Star Wars units. You can see their sporadic fire out here, though. Um, they're creating small little stands and stuff like that on top of these hills. It's pretty nice. They they should survive for a while and get us some decent kills. As it stands right now, 2,000 Star Wars units have died on the battlefield. I believe most of that is going to be Jedi, uh, who ended up dying, running out, and stuff like that. But that was literally their job, was to go out and just approach the enemy to try and hurt them a little bit before the enemy gets to the inner units. Uh, so that's expected losses, I will say. That, that, that is no surprise for us here. Meanwhile, uh, the Jedi and Star Wars units have collectively killed a little over 500,000 units. Now, that is not an exactly accurate number uh, because we did start with uh, just a little under 7 million units uh, for the zombies and they currently have 5.8 million. So probably explosions and stuff like that account for some of those missing kills, which is quite good. So whew, we're happy to see the progress that the Star Wars units are making. They're doing a bang up job as it is right now, but they need to continue to do that bang up job for an extremely long period of time here in order to hold out. This will be extremely challenging, but I think if anyone can do it, it's the Star Wars armies, and then probably the Warhammer armies, and then probably like a bunch of other armies that we don't use as much in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, and then at the very end of that list is the you know who I'm going to say, Lord of the Rings armies. They're so bad. I love Lord of the Rings so much, but in terms of power levels in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, they're absolute garbo. It's real, real rough. <laughs> but I think uh, at some point we do need to do some Lord of the Rings uh, versus zombies. I don't, we haven't done that on the channel yet, have we? I don't, I don't think we have. Wow, Grievous just allowing himself to take hits. That's interesting strategy, Cotton. We'll see how it plays out. Indeed, indeed, indeed. I think this Mandalorian cover fire up top is actually helping quite a bit for the bottom units. I think that's really, really solid. And I know these Mandalorians look a lot like Jango Fett, uh, but they're actually supposed to be Death Watch units, um, and they do have the dual wield Westar just like Jango Fett, but they do not have hero unit style health or ability to shoot. Um, you know, they've got about 2,000 health, which is pretty much on par with each of these units. Like, yeah, Stormtroopers have 1,200 health right there. Clone Troopers have got 2,000 health. So, uh, Rebel Fleet Troopers have another 1,200 health. Yeah, so these units, they're all pretty evenly matched for Star Wars ground infantry units. Uh, no, no big units that are, that are crazy heroic beyond, of course these boys up here who are the hero units <laughs> if you know what i'm saying baby yes sir um over here the b1 battle droids are definitely struggling a good bit they probably lost the most of the range units for star wars they're still holding but it does look like these zombies are kind of getting through them so i think this is where we'll park ourselves and do our very first time lapse here uh to watch as these b1 battle droids slowly get overtaken uh by zombies skeletons trolls and orcs all coming forward to kill. Let's check it out. Alright, so about 20 minutes later, it looks like the droids have been pushed back fairly considerably. The zombies are down to about 5 million troopers right now, um, but you know, there's still holdouts here, and I love that we have a Jedi fighting alongside the battle droids just out here trying to protect them from the melee. That is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I like that a lot. That just looks epic. Um, we have 4,200 dead Star Wars units. It looks like a lot of those are droids. 
probably very few stormtroopers, it looks like. Almost no BX commandos, it seems. C commandos are doing well. Uh, looks like a few of them were probably some of the clone shock troopers, for sure. They, they have depleted. Um, and then over this way, yeah, some of these rebel fleet troopers, I think, have died uh, going forward in this battle. So, RIP to them. Let's check on our heroes, though. Uh, are they still alive? Yeah, so... The Mandalorian right here is getting attacked, and that's probably not good. I might actually move him back, just because I like to have the hero units stay alive for as long as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move him back, and he's just cover fire for these guys. Uh, and then we got Yoda still up, we got Emperor Palpatine still up, and then General Grievous is still up. And I think he's probably killed the most of these guys out of all of the hero units. And they're making their nice little body pile up here. They're, they're contributing in their own little way. It's beautiful. ATTE is still firing away noisily. They're doing a great job. And, okay, I... I'm seeing... I thought that might have been fire over here, but I don't think so. So I'm guessing all of the Death Troopers have perished. I think all of the Death Troopers are dead. It looks like they did get a considerable amount of kills out here. There are a lot of dead bodies out this way. Yeah, but I'm not seeing any more fire going on out here, so I think they failed in their mission to cut a path uh, to the Star Wars troopers. I guess just getting surrounded like that, it just wasn't in the cards. It's just too, too hard to overcome. Uh, now, the big thing is that we still have ourselves 5 million zombies left alive. And, you know, there's 6,000 Star Wars units left. They've lost about 4 tenths of their total troops. That's not good. That's not good. That's not a good, <laughs> like, statistic for them to have lost. But I, I think they can still win this thing if they just hunker down. But it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those things where we just have to wait and see. Um, I think it'd be fun to time lapse the uh, orcs over here coming up and over and attacking the fleet troopers and watching this bio body pile grow before our eyes. So why don't we go ahead and do a little bit of that, baby? Well, boys, it looks like the Rebel Fleet Troopers are completely dead, and oh my god, this is not good. Wow, that was only like 25 minutes of time lapse, and a lot has changed on the battlefield. The ATTEs are starting to get, whoa, rolled, holy cow. That's very not good, oh my god, okay. Stormtroopers over here still holding on tight. BX Commandos also holding on tight, and we do still have some battle droids. I'm actually shocked that the Rebel Fleet Troopers went down before the B-1 Battle Droids did. The Clone Troopers over here, the Shock Troopers, in a lot of trouble as well. Um, they've definitely lost some troopers, and they're going to be getting flanked over this way from more zombies and orcs in just a matter of moments. So these guys could be looking at dying pretty soon as well. That's not good, and, and then this opens up the flank to all of these fellas over here also getting flanked. Um, still, the Mando's chilling up top and managing to get a lot of shots out, which is good. They're just, their entire job is not to, like, hold off zombies. It's to get as many kills as possible in the back lines of zombies and stuff like that. That's all we care about with them. Uh, the hero units up here, it looks like General Grievous is still alive. So is Palpy. Um, and so is Yoda. And Mando is still chilling down here. Okay, cool. Hero units still holding the back lines, which is good, because then the Mandalorians would be getting flanked without those hero units right there, which would not be good at all. So, at the moment, things are getting dicey, but it's not Jover. It's not Jover yet. I think we watch this time-lapse area here, because this clone trooper legion is basically holding up the flanks along with the ATTEs uh, from these guys getting attacked in the rear. So this is actually a crucial moment here. Right now, we've got 4 million zombies left. Um, that's crazy, and 4,321 Star Wars units left. Ugh, it's getting dicey, but let's check it out.
Well, boys, we're now down to 3 million zombies, as well as 3,300 Star Wars units. So it's basically every Star Wars unit needs to get like 100,000 kills, I think, on average or something like that. The B-1 battle droids, gone. The clone troopers, gone. The Mandalorians are just now starting to get fully attacked here, um, but not to much result as of just yet. So they're still doing okay. The BX Commandos over here are starting to take more losses, but they're still doing okay because they're a more powerful unit as well. And the Stormtroopers are sort of backed into a corner here, but they've got the BX Commandos in front of them. So they're not really dealing with a huge force coming at them, so they'll probably survive for a little bit longer than the other units were surviving over here and stuff like that. Checking in on the hero units, I see Palpy is still zapping and Grievous is still rocking it. Uh, Yoda's right there and then Mando's back there. So the real thing is these guys probably will die very, very quickly if the Mandalorians over this way end up dying and all of the zombies come up here because right now they're really just dealing with a trickle in but if everything starts hitting them, it's Jover, fellas. It's Jover and we cannot come Barack from that. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and uh, check out check out these Mandos surviving. I think that'd be pretty fun. All right, boys, it's been 35 minutes, and the Mandos are starting to take some losses now, and they're getting attacked from two different fronts. This body pile grew so large that now the zombies are able to climb over it and hit the Mandos, which is pretty crazy. How is everyone else doing? Stormtroopers and BX Commandos still somehow alive. Uh, that scout barking, he just got a bath, so he's going ballistic, baby. Um, I am shocked that these guys are still alive. That is pretty impressive. They might die by the end of this thing, though there's only 1.5 million zombies left, which is a very, very good omen. Uh, all of the heroes are left alive, I think? No, wait. Where's Grievous? <gasps> Did Grievous fall? Oh, I think Grievous died. Oh, RIP to the big man. Emperor Palpatine and Yoda are still alive, though. And there's Mando. Okay, good. Unless I'm completely missing Grievous, but... I think Grievous did die. R.I.P. One hero unit down. There's still 2,600 Star Wars units left alive, which, um, you know, is not, it's not a lot, but at the very least, there's only 1.5 million zombies left for them to deal with, which gives me some hope that could be okay. This could end well for the Star Wars units, or it could go south. We just don't know yet. Let's find out. Breaking news! Today... Well, I don't know, it's the same day. We don't have the day-night cycle turned on. Um, this moment, we're about to have one million <laughs> zombies left alive. Um, the body piles are immense, which is crazy, and they're freaking everywhere. Absolutely bonkers. 2,265 remaining Star Wars units, and they're absolutely killing the game doing a bang-up job of defending here. I mean, Palpy is still alive up here, zappity-zapping people. Yoda's still getting kills. Mando might be helping, not entirely sure, but his Mandalorian brothers are certainly doing a very, very strong holdout. It helps that all of these guys are completely fresh since they were saved from the beginning of the battle, which is very awesome. I get a lot of people asking me what I do when I time-lapse, because sometimes the time-lapses are like an hour. Um, I'll take Scout for a walk sometimes, I'll write some of my book, um, sometimes I'll work on other videos uh, on my laptop, um, and uh, most recently I've been working on a LEGO video, uh, so I do recording for my LEGO videos sometimes <laughs> for the Daily Bricks channel. Look at this, they're like, bum, 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 bum. they're all synchronized weird trippy um <laughs> so yeah i'm working on a uh lego video currently that's all about uh the different eras of uh, war history and stuff like that so it should be a pretty baller video um but yeah that's what i do fun uh one million zombies remain 
22,000 Star Wars units remain. Absolutely crazy. Why don't we just go ahead and let it ride for a while? Um, because my lap or my desktop is likely filling up on space. So <laughs> let's just let it vibe. One more check in here, boys, and we are down to 170,000 remaining zombies. But it looks as though actually all of the commando droids have died and the stormtroopers have started to get eaten away at a good bit right here. Uh, Mandalorian's also still taking some losses, but it's not too bad. And then Emperor Palpatine's still alive up here, so is Yoda, and then uh, Mando is right there too. So they're still Gucci, my dudes. Uh, it, this is definitely going to be a Star Wars victory, but uh, the loss of the commando droids and more than likely the stormtroopers are going to all die out too at the end of this, I think. Um, that's that's fairly devastating, but not the worst. So yeah, 160,000 left. Let's let it run out. All right, boys, 60,000 enemy troops left, and they're just sort of trickling in at this point. No more uh, Star Wars units are really dying. Uh, a couple stormtroopers over here are left, and, and they will likely die out, but... Uh, not, nothing too crazy. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, the trickle-in is real at this point, because all the zombies are over here. And there's this one tiny little gap they can get through to make it up here. Um, oh, and there's a couple over here, too. But these guys will drain pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, drop the nuke on them, drop the orbital strike, and call it a Star Wars victory, baby. Oh, that's always so fun, dude. Let's go! That's hype as... As heck brother look at that bea beautiful baby either way guys that's going to be about it for today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy be sure to check out the ultimate general american revolution videos i posted the other day i think you guys will really like those um they're super fun new game trust me it's awesome also a men of war star wars video i posted late last night which was a mistake because no one saw it um but yeah either way guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you all the next one peace I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.